in this moment in time, there are a lot of people that are in self-isolation. There are a lot of countries that are going into lockdown. My name's Stuart Wood, and this is six things you can photograph while in lockdown. There are links in the description below to any of the ideas that I talk about in this video that I've previously done videos on before. So if you have a particular one that you want to know more information about, then go into the description, click on the link and you'll get more information on that subject. So the first one, and probably the easiest and probably the most impressive, is water drops. You can add water drops to any object to improve the look of your image. There's two different versions you can do. You can do the single water drop using a syringe like this. They just plop onto a subject and photograph. They look great. Or you can do water droplets, which is where you take a spray bottle like this and you spray it onto your subject and photograph it. My advice if you're going to try this is to have patience. Keep on trying. Vary the lighting, vary the background, but most importantly, have fun doing it. Number two is dandelion clocks or dandelion seeds. These make great subjects because they grow everywhere. If you go into your garden, you're bound to find a dandelion that's popped up somewhere. Don't cut it down, don't weed it, let it grow, let it develop its dandelion clock seed head, and then you've got lots of clocks that you can use for your macro photography. You can collect these up and put them in a container like this one. This is what Lee Hall did for me. And you can take these Put them into any scene, it doesn't matter what it is, and they look great. Now you mix this with option one, which is water drops, and you can get water drops on dandelion clocks or dandelion seeds. The results, I think, are fantastic. Give it a go, and again, as always, experiment and play and have fun. If you've got kids like me, then you're bound to have something like marbles or orbies lying around the house. My kids absolutely love these Orbeez. Now I've done a video on these before, photographing Orbeez. They make great subjects for macro photography. Place them again like a water drop in any scene, any situation. Vary the lighting and you're going to have some real good fun photographing these Orbeez or marble. Number four is oil and water. I don't have any oil on me, but I have the water. I have a video again for doing this, so you put a little dish, put water in it, put a tablespoon of oil in and then put a colourful background underneath and start shooting this abstract macro. You can also add paint to the mixture to vary things up a little bit and the results are very, very good considering how easy it is to do it. Again, vary your lighting, vary your background to get different results. Oil and water is a fantastic subject to photograph at home. Another subject that's fantastic to photograph is soap bubbles. These are great to photograph. They're like tiny little worlds, constantly changing colours and textures. And you can have a lot of fun photographing these bubbles. Simply mix a bit of washing up liquid with water, blow a bubble onto a wet plate, and you're good for hours and hours of macro fun. And last but not least, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I don't mention my favourite subject, and that is spiders. You've got spiders everywhere. Garden, in your house, they are everywhere. You don't have to look that hard to find a spider that you can photograph. And even if you don't like spiders, they make great subjects for practising your macro photography. So, find yourself a spider in your garden and practise your macro photography. Spiders! They're fantastic. In particular, the jumping spiders are my favourite, as anyone who's subscribed to my channel will know. These are my favourite. So that is my number six tip to photograph. Photograph some spiders. As I said, you can find them near enough anywhere. So that's it. That is my six things that you can photograph while in a lockdown. My name's Stuart Wood. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. And as always, I'll see you on the next video. In this worrying world, there are a lot of countries that are going into lockdown, a lot of people that are in... In this worrying time, you can add water drops to any situation.
You can collect these up and put them into a container. And last but not least, where would we be if this links to any of the methods I describe in this links to any of the methods I describe? Oh, fuck, I said describe again. Links to any of the meth links to any of the ideas that I talk about in this video in 